A very good evening. You're watching CNN News 18 with me, Akanksha Swaroop. Let's dive into the segment with some breaking inputs coming in from Karnataka. Hindu activist Srikant Pujari, who was arrested for his alleged involvement in 1992 Ram Mandir riot, has finally been released from jail. This is the breaking input that we are bringing to you. And soon after his release, Pujari said, and I quote, he said that I did fight for the Ram Mandir. Police said we want to take you to a market and then arrested me, did not even give me any warrant or summons. Let's also listen in to what Srikant Pujari had to say soon after he was released. हमारा केस खत्म हो गया सर हमारा केस खत्म होने के बारे में इसको यहां लेके आकर अरेस्ट करें मेरे को मैं आपको अपस्कॉन्डिंग है करके बता रहे थे हुबली में नहीं थे बल्कि बोल नहीं 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 मैं हुबली में से आए उनके सामने 15 दिन फिरे आए उनके सामने से गुजरे हमारे घर के पास खाने के लिए होटल के लिए वो खाने के आने के बाद में मेरे को अरेस्ट करके लेके गए बोले थे वो मेरे को मेरे घर के घर रिलेशन लेके जाने के है करके बोलने में मैं ठीक है चलो कर बोले मैं पुलिस स्टेशन के जाने के बाद में ऐसा ऐसा घूम के देखे पुलिस को कह के मेरे को ऐसा बोले अगले केस है तीकर को वैसा बुला लेके गए करने वाले करते हैं हम तो राम सिने के लिए करने के लिए तो रेडी है सब अभी फिर भी जाने वाला मैं राम सिने के लिए all right, so Sri Kant Pajari openly declaring over there that he will still do everything he can for Lord Ram and that he is all set to even attend uh, the consecration ceremony. He said that he still doesn't know whether or not the BJP fought for his release from outside. But he, uh, in fact, has also gone on to indicate how the police bluffed him uh, into getting arrested because they initially only go, went on to tell him that he is they'll be taking him to the market and without any summon uh, arrested him for but important to highlight how uh, this has only his uh, arrest earlier had only raised suspicion over the role that the Hubli police uh, played because remember after the home department in Karnataka released documents that clearly showed discrepancies especially with regards to the version that was put out by the Karnataka police earlier at the time of the release they said that Srikant Pajari had been absconding and that is why they uh, arrested him whereas when the home department released documents it only went on to indicate how every time Sri Kant Pujari in fact appeared before the police uh, every time he was summoned for more details let's quickly go across to Harish who's joining me live on the broadcast Harish now Sri Kant Pujari's uh, release is this a testimony to the political vendetta driven intent of his arrest by the Congress government also which has played a role in this arrest and also what everything that BJP is now standing for Well, uh, the government constantly maintaining that uh, the Hubli Darwad police were well within their rights to arrest him in this 1992 case. Uh, he hadn't appeared before the court in this particular case. The court had uh, termed it as a long pending case in 2006. The police had to arrest him to ensure that this case can be taken to the next step uh, in the court trial. That's the argument of the government. Uh, but certain aspects of what the Hubli Darwad police have said has come under criticism where they said that he was constantly absconding, he had never appeared before them. That's something that now it's very clear was false. He had appeared in front of them in other cases, in three of them he had given an undertaking, in three others he was fined. So clearly that one argument has fallen flat and uh, the, the BJP now also saying that out of these 16 cases, 12 of them he's been set free, three of them he's been fined. Those three cases are resolved. It's just one case, the 1992 writing case, where he's wanted. And uh, they've also questioned uh, the timing of it, saying that if this has been termed as a long pending case in 2006, why is it in 2003, uh, that uh, 2024, in fact, that the government decided to arrest him? The BJP constantly saying that this was selective targeting uh, just to induce fear among the workers whoever was supporting the Ram Mandir. That's been the argument of the BJP. Uh, but the Congress saying, well, we were just uh, following the law of the land. Now that he's been released on bail, uh, has to be seen what essentially his family and Dashikant Pujari himself will say now. Uh, they've also argued in front of the court that there's absolutely no risk of him absconding. And uh, they have said that he's appeared before the court in other cases. The government constantly maintaining that uh, there is a risk that he might not appear before the court in future if he's granted bail, but the court did not really right. buy that argument. Harish, uh, Srikant Pujari has also gone on to say that, you know, he uh, he worked for uh, Lord Ram and will continue to do so. Has he now become the poster boy for the entire Ram Mandir agenda of sorts? That is, uh, that is the term that the 
opposition has currently been using. Uh, also, the timing of uh, Pujari's arrest and the subsequent release, how will this now pan out in an election year? Well, it's done two things. One, as you rightly uh, mentioned, he's become the poster by, uh, boy of this agitation. Uh, will he be invited? Will he go to Ayodhya? Uh, he'll go to Ayodhya. So that's something that we'll have to watch. Second is what it has done is it's uh, it's put some life into the BJP state unit here. Uh, after B.Y. Vijendra became the state president, mm -hmm. we are seeing first major protest by the state uh, BJP unit. They did not manage to corner the government in the winter assembly session that happened uh, in December. But uh, once this issue came to the forefront, they've managed to corner the state government. They've managed to uh, protest in all district headquarters. There's a renewed sense of enthusiasm uh, among the cadres of the BJP. So one will have to see how this impacts uh, the Congress and also the BJP vis-a-vis uh, -vis the 2024 Lok Sabha election. Remember, uh, the BJP wants to win maximum number of seats from South, but uh, they do not have a strong hold in many of these uh, states like Kerala and Tamil Nadu and Karnataka gives them that uh, lion's share of seats from South, 25 seats out of 28 last time round. Uh, the BJP was believing that it will be difficult to repeat that number, but after this protest, the BJP believes that uh, they perhaps are in a much better position, uh, situation and position compared to what right. they were in, say, November or December. Right. Harish, you know, the one thing that stands out out of uh, the arrest of Srikant Pujari earlier was the discrepancies and the intent of the entire arrest that took place. What does that speak of the credibility of the government? I know we are talking about discrepancies as far as documents of the uh, Home Department vis-a-vis -vis what the Hubli police had to say is concerned. But what does it speak of the credibility of the Karnataka government at the moment? Well, it, it indeed uh, raises several questions because uh, the Chief Minister said, called him uh, an accused and he, uh, they said he has a criminal background, he's wanted in several cases, uh, but the BJP came out and said, well, uh, the details and documents that you yourself has, have put out clearly indicates that uh, 15 of those cases have reached a logical conclusion. It's just one pending case that he's uh, currently uh, an accused in. So on that aspect, yes, there are question marks. Second, uh, also the fact that uh, there are uh, several other cases where the government hasn't moved in so quickly mm. and arrested people uh, has given some space for the BJP to question why uh, the Congress wants to take a certain uh, direction in terms of... All right, we seem to have be having uh, some audio issues with uh, Harish over there, but important to also bring you that reaction of Srikant Pujari. Uh, he's gone on to talk about nothing, how nothing will deter his spirits. Let's also listen into what Srikant Pujari said soon after his release. हमारा केस खत्म हो गया सर हमारा केस खत्म होने के बारे में इसको यहां लेके क्या अरेस्ट करें मेरे को मैं आपको अपस्कॉन्डिंग है करके बता रहे थे हुबली में नहीं थे बल्कि बोल नहीं 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 मैं हुबली में चाहिए उनके सामने 15 दिन फिरे आए उनके सामने से गुजरे हमारे घर के पास खाने के लिए आए होटल के लिए वो खाने के के बाद मेरे को अरेस्ट करके लेके गए बोले थे मेरे को मेरे घर के घर रिलेशन लेके जाने के है करके बोलने में मैं ठीक है चलो कर बोले में पुलिस स्टेशन के जाने के बाद में ऐसा ऐसा घूम के देखे पुलिस लोग आए के मेरे को ऐसा बोले अगले केस है करके वैसा बुला लेके गए करने वाले करते हैं हम ही तो राम सिन्हा के लिए करने के लिए तो रेडी है सब अभी फिर भी जाने वाला है मैं राम सिन्हा के लिए 